and my beautiful daughter Jolie came at me and said, hey daddy, I created a Q&A on Instagram. I was like, okay, what is a Q&A now? And she said, it's questions and answers. So, did we receive any questions? Yeah. Many? Yeah, a lot. Okay, so we are going to try to answer them. Let's begin. <laughs> the first question we received was from the Get Up and Go family. And they ask us, what is your take on Cardano, Stellar and Sia coin? And by the way, I love what you are doing, guys. So, do you want to answer that one? <laughs> no, you <laughs> so, may answer that one. <laughs> um, okay, I will try. Um, I, I love them all three. I love the effect of Cardano because um, it's a technological platform and I think it's, um, it's very good for the more innovational parts of apps that will be developed on a blockchain. So I think it will be big in the future. Stellar is a platform I really like because they just make it possible that um, instant payments all over the world, uh, again, uh, with a very small fee are possible. So this will make it possible that people that are from, for example, Africa and living in or working in Holland and they want to send their money to the family, it will be very cheap and it will be very fast. So I think Stellar is going to do a great job and. Um, um, providing the people of some more uh, financial freedom all over the world. So that's why I love Stellar and their micro payments. And um, yeah, I think Stellar is a good investment. And then, of course, Sia. I, I like the fact because we are a traveling family and we make a lot of pictures and videos and we need a lot of cloud storage. And so now we are depending on a few. Um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, online providers for this cloud storage, but they are pretty expensive. And I think CA will provide a solution for those um, uh, for this online cloud uh, storage in a blockchain and a, a bit more uh, cheap than we are paying now. Uh, we have CA, we have Stellar, and uh, we have uh, Cardano as well. So that was the first question. Um, the second question was from. Stan Massa. So, where are you going to go this summer? Where are we going to go this summer? Do you know yet what we want to do? Australia. Where, where would you love to go to? Australia. 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 And you? And you? Australia or Bali. Australia or Bali. Jessa, where do you want to go? Okay, you want to stay on Copenhagen. Okay, you, you want to like stay it? here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, cool. And you? Um, I was thinking about maybe we stay a little bit longer here on Copanyan. We really love Copanyan. And um, when our visa ends, that's around 10 May. Yeah, somewhere in the middle. Maybe Bali. I love Bali. And there are all nice uh, islands. In the near, uh, near yeah. a bit, yeah, so, yeah. Island, yeah. Island. Island. really pretty. So that was my thought. And you? <laughs> yeah, I flew. <laughs> 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 we all seem to want something else, but uh, for me, it's all staying in Thailand, Copenhagen. I love it. Uh, Bali is fine with me as well. And there is a part of me that would love to do a European tour, yeah. so I'll travel through Europe. Yeah, I like that. But because we want to keep all our money into crypto, it's um, a little expensive. So we wrote a few letters to some um, candle fan companies and we asked them, can you please sponsor us a candle fan for a few months so we can do a European Bitcoin tour and discover an amazing place in Europe where you can um, write blogs on how hotels, restaurants are using or accepting Bitcoin. So that could be a plan, but again, then it has to be um, affordable. If not, I would prefer being in Asia and keeping as much as possible in crypto. Okay. So that was the second question. And a really long answer. And a really long answer. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Daddy likes it hard. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, then there are a few people that ask us, um, I think Fadil was one of them. What are you going, what are you doing with your Bitcoin every December? 
So I think he asks this question because every December the last few years Bitcoin reaches a top and then reaches a bottom at the end of December till January, February, March and then it climbs up again. So till now we have just been holding all our Bitcoins so we haven't sold them in last December. Uh, do we regret it? No, I don't think so. But this December, if the market will act the same way as it did this year, maybe we would sell 50% of our Bitcoins and buy it back again in, in, in February so we could uh, multiply our Bitcoins by this move. So that was the answer on what are we going to do this December. Then there is a, I think it's a friend of Joey, Juna, or Jesse, of both three. Oh, yeah. It's called, she's called Isla de Strote. Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, you know her? Yeah. Do you know Isla? Yeah. Okay. I know her. You, you know, know her too. Yeah. Is she the daughter from? Karen ah, and. Okay. Yeah. Karen and, yeah, you forgot the name. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you? Oh. It's too long ago. No. Uh, Danny. Danny, yeah. Danny. I was thinking Mark, but that's. No, Mark is the product guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We have, sorry, Daddy, and sorry, Karen. We have been too long on this island, too much sun, but we haven't forgotten. No, thinking. So, Isla, first of all, how are you doing? Please comment below and let us know how you and your family are doing. So, Julie, ask, uh, answer your girlfriend. When are we going back? Coming back? How long are we staying? I don't know. <laughs> how long would you want to stay? We don't know yet. Do you want to go back? Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Go. No. But when? not now. But not now. Okay. Okay. So, so. I think um, we live we live day by day. Yeah. And if the feeling comes we want to go back home, we go back. <laughs> yeah. I think, that's I think that's it. But we will definitely visit you Isla, of course, and you will be able to play with Julie. And <laughs> if we come back, that doesn't mean we will stay there, but we want to visit Holland yeah. a few months a year, definitely, because yeah, we relatives like and yeah, friends. relatives, friends and family, yeah. so we like Holland very much. We just don't like the way they handle schooling. But again, that's another question. <laughs> <laughs> so, Isla, we will meet you again. Another question is Miggy Man, I think it's called. And this is just one of them, but there were a lot of people uh, asking this same question. How do you do it with the kids and school? Do you teach them? Jessa, do we teach you? Do I teach you? Do I teach you to read? All right. And to write? Learn to later? Explain it? Take a lesson from it? Wow, you need to think about that. Yeah, so that's the that's probably the answer. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we took them out of school. They are not go not going to any school anymore. Yeah. Uh, we prefer that right now. Um, once in a while, I think, and if I have one week, I practice with Jessa uh, three or four times a week uh, to read and to write and to uh, close an end <laughs> to do math math mathematics, math. mathematics, yeah, mathematics. In English. Easy way. rekenen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with Juna I do the same Jolie is a different story because she's already into high school yeah she should be in high school. She should be in high school. So uh, we think they learn a lot about the world, about yeah. life yeah. while we are traveling. Yeah. So we're not into, we need to study every day with the kids. To make it, yeah, to, to, to be a little bit clear. Um, I'm not clear. <laughs> yeah, you are very <laughs> clear. No, but you're very clear, but I think maybe they would yeah, think like, okay. It's difficult to give um, one answer. We, we thought a long time about this, but we just don't want our children to be part of a system we don't fully support. We don't want to, we, we don't want to create small robots, but we want to create like um, children that know which 
talents they have or have or which passion they uh, want to follow and I think that's the thing we want to create a little bit more instead of just small robots that just repeat what they are taught into a square classroom. Um, so what Roman said, we focus just when they when they ask to learn, then they are able to learn. Of course, we provide them more knowledge then. So then we had a question again by a few guests, people. Uh, Michiel van Est is one of them. He saw our spider incident, and his question is, where was it? The Est the spider, and did your children freak out? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So to tell you, to tell you a, a bit, a short story. The spider, we the were, big one. The big one. In your room. Uh, it was in the children's room. Yeah. So when I huge. saw it on the window, and then my brother, my brother, he took a, a box to catch yeah, it. to catch it. But then it jumped all around, so it was really big. Normally, I'm not afraid of the spiders, but when they go crazy. I think mom was also crazy. I'm crazy. I'm getting crazy. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. The, the nice part was that it escaped. So we we caught yeah. it, then it escaped again, and we had to catch it again. And then it was like crawling all over the ground, and the feet were high. Jody was panicking a little bit. Yeah. I was so, screaming. Yeah. So uh, Girls. it was a it was a huge spider, and we had yeah. well, we are used to have some animals in our room. Yeah, there this are one lots was, of spiders here, but they are all like. This big, yeah, and this one, and was, this one was this big. It was really big, yeah. So, so did you like the spider, Jessa? No. Yeah. So yeah, I don't, don't think they, they, they still sleep good because it was in their room, <laughs> not ours. They are not afraid, no. We, afraid. we we catched it, we put it outside, and yeah. then it's okay. But I can understand people are afraid. Realize you are sleeping, you wake up, that spider in your face. Yeah, why would oh. there be a spider on someone's face? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. so uh, I hope that was the quest, the answer. Um, then there is another guy who asks, what is your view on a passive income? Um, he also says, okay, don't get me wrong, I think it's great what you do, um, but everything in Bitcoin, so all in Bitcoin, is that wasn't that a better idea to say, half in Bitcoin and half in a rental property to create a passive income. So spreading the risk. Yeah, we thought about that. Yeah, but in the beginning he might he means so oh, okay. from the start. Um no from the start our feeling was to put it all into the yeah. crypto. So yeah to be um a lot of people ask us the same questions. Did he get out? Did he um, get take your profit and please spread your risk and buy a apartment or Something you can rent out, but in my opinion, and our opinion, crypto is just getting started, and our capital will grow much more if we keep it into crypto than if we buy, um, for example, a house to rent out. So I think in crypto we can go times ten in a few years' time in a house that will never be possible in a few, in a few years' time, and um, we just want to support this this monetary revolution so and you do support it by keeping all your um, assets and capital in crypto and not spending it in houses and all those things because um, you know, we just think there is more um, there is more value to crypto than just mm -hmm. becoming a millionaire or something we think crypto has to be about more um, it has to be more about freedom independency decentralized um, uh, decentralization of processes, all those things. That's why we are in crypto. And of course, we prefer crypto grows and our capital grows, but we don't need it like Virginia or something. So maybe we will spend some more than in other people that can use it or foundations or um, yeah, all those things. So in our opinion, crypto will go much higher and much further than it is. And that's why we stay in crypto and we don't buy a house or something. Yeah. And a house brings a lot of <laughs> worries. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I was like a... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, then you again have some worries. Yeah. We love the fact that we are living minimalistic and we don't have any pressures on, the, on our shoulders from... To take care of a house and all the Payments. things that come with it. Uh, we don't have that right now and yeah. we love that. Yeah, we love so. that. So, hope that was a good answer. Um, 
on your question. What do we think about the Bitcoin and crypto pay cards? Um, I think they are very important because people have to realize that if crypto doesn't make it and the world goes cashless, so no cash money anymore, then all your assets and capital is controlled by the people that control at this point. So, for example, I, I'm not saying they would do it, but they could do it then when the world is cashless. If you have all your money on the bank account and they just freeze your bank account, and you don't have any cash money like we do have now, and then there is no you have you don't have any control anymore on your assets. Crypto could change this. This is what we think that crypto will do as well. Keep up the control and uh, about 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 your money, but. On the other hand, you need to spend crypto, and to spend it, you need a credit card that supports crypto. So we have been using a lot of credit cards. We have been using Payeer, and we have been using uh, BitPay, and uh, a few more. And now we are using Revolut, because a lot of cards didn't don't work anymore. But I think there will be um, a big change in 2018. Then Bobby is asking, how do you guys maintain your friendship from back home when you're on the road so much? So, how do you keep in contact with your friends? Yeah. Instagram, Snapchat, <laughs> WhatsApp, <laughs> yeah. FaceTime. Yeah, just my phone. Okay. And which friends? Which friends do you chat on a daily basis with or a weekly basis? Most with Amy and Louis and too much. How many of them? Daily and you? And Hannah and Soraya. Hannah and Soraya. Okay. And for me, um, yeah, I think I call them once in a while, my friends and family. And uh, I think every week I text them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's, uh, it's a good question because if you travel, you just don't see your friends a lot. No, and so. sometimes the internet is very slow. Yeah. And then you go, raw, can't make contact, but yeah. it is what it is, yeah. and they know, so. Yeah, we, we have some friends like Rahul and Ilse, or Ronnie and Sandra, or Ava and Mariska. Yeah. Yeah. Those are friends we have, we know them already for more than 20 years, I think. Mm -hmm. So those are the friends which is most difficult to not see them, for example. That were the friends that stood us by when my parents died, so all those things, you, you build them very um, good friendship with those people and of course it's not easy but we may, yeah I, I chat with my friends and every week so often, yeah. Uh, yeah. whatsapp calls or all those calls and yeah and then it, and then you still and every time we call I realize okay life and for us we are every day we are having a new adventure and for many people are just answering always okay Oh, it's still the same, still the same, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's still the same, and we are okay. We are happy we took um, this change to minimalistic lifestyle and traveling. We know where uh, we are yeah. going back until the time we chat yeah. and we ask and we whatever. <laughs> yeah, we just chat and we just try to get them out of the system as well, but yeah. we didn't come, do, come here, but we didn't <laughs> accept them. Uh, no, 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 for a holiday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if, we, if you speak about you friends, I always think of a, of a saying that I think they say like um, good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but they are always there. And I think we have a lot of friends in Holland who will always be there for us if we have um, any problems in the future or whatever. So we are very lucky family to have uh, those friends. Uh, a few minutes, but if you want to leave, leave. <laughs> no. And then a the next question. How are you able to take the kids um, out of school for so long? We aren't. <laughs> they aren't in any school anymore. No. Yeah, We decided uh, in Holland it's not possible and if you want to do what we are doing now, uh, you need to... Um, How do you say that in English? Yeah, yeah that's a good one. You need to describe. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> so, yeah, last time we did it without ask, with asking, but without any permission. So when we came back, I had to go to court, and I had to face a real judge in a black toga. We got some punishment, but it wasn't as big as we thought it could be. So we were happy, and 
it worked out fine. Uh, there is an option of just going to the government and just push the button and then you're an, not no longer a, a Dutch citizen. You still have a Dutch passport, but you're no longer a Dutch citizen. And if you come back, then you just push the button again and you're a Dutch citizen again. And we're doing that, you just pass We the... haven't been back, so hopefully they push the button so we can go back. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we don't know. No, that. for sure we don't know, but that's what they told us. That's so. what they, they, they told us they pushed the button. <laughs> so, so we are still Dutch, yeah. but officially not living in Holland. Yeah. And that's how we can bypass um, the, the school. How do you say it? School. School. The must go to school rule. <laughs> if you want more info, visit our website or send us a private mail and we are yeah. we can help you with this. What? What is your opinion on Monero on Monero coin? Um, I will keep it short, but I think Monero will be huge in the future. But because of the way they handle the private privacy um, is really good. Um, as far as I know, Monero uses uh, ring signatures and ring confidential uh, transactions. So, which means they are not traceable. So every send you every Monero I send to another a person is not traceable. So it's the same as real cash money. If I hand over some ten euro to Romain now, nobody knows I handed it over except Jolie and Jenna because they saw it. And um, Monero is providing this in crypto world, this privacy, which I think is a very important thing. And that's why I think money will be big in the future. What do we pay for the internet? Over here, I think, is the question. Okay. <laughs> Everywhere is free Wi-Fi. Yeah. So we use that a lot. And then we have a lot. One telephone? Yeah, which we use as a, how do you call it? Hotspot? Yeah, yeah. so we use that one as hotspot. And then the costs are a month? A month? 10 euros a month. Yeah. So I think it's 10 euros a month, and then you get 4 M bits of speed. Uh, you can use as much as possible as you want. There is no limit to it here yeah. in Thailand. So um, that's how we. But again, every restaurant, every hotel, free everywhere wifi. we are, is all free yeah. Wi Fi, so we don't have to pay for it. Uh, and good Wi Fi. Yeah, it's fast. It's, yeah. it's good fast. Right? Another question, have we regretted, this question is by Wesley, have any of you regretted your decision up till now? So, okay. let's start with Jenna. Hmm? Have you er spijt van wat we tot nu toe gedaan hebben? No. Do you regret it? Do you like it, what we did or not? Yeah. Okay, so. Um, do you regret something? Have you er spijt van? For example, do you regret quitting school? No. <laughs> no. I could give you that answer. <laughs> I miss my friends, but I just contacted them with WhatsApp so I can just talk to them and you know, I don't regret I stopped at school. Okay. Do you regret leaving Holland for Thailand now, for example? No. No? Honestly, no? <laughs> if you do, you just tell us, you know, we can back. Have you actually said that you do that you want to regret something that you do? Something that you always have done. What you always yeah. done different. Yeah. Tic-tac. No? No. Yeah. Okay. What? She's a little clown. Yeah. Yeah. Do I regret something that we did until now? No. Nothing. Everything we have done, I've learned so much until now, and I have uh, grown so much further right now. Let me just. So, um, short answer, no, I don't regret anything. Regret, I don't regret anything. Uh, the only so thing I could regret is that I didn't took this step two years before. So, not a Bitcoin step, but the family step. So, not being that materialistic and spending more time with family in a minimalistic yeah, lifestyle. Is the that is the only time. thing I could regret, but it's in the past. So at this point, no, I don't regret anything. But if it comes to crypto, for example, mm -hmm. I should have sold a few of my Bitcoins last December. That was the only thing I 
good have regrets, but I'm still happy to have all the other bitcoins and um, the amount they are worth at this point. So that is not no regret, I think. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, this is uh, crazy. Didi, this is from Paolo. Didi, you have a swollen tongue. I noticed that also in a different picture. Have you got have you got some histamine intolerance? A swollen tongue is an opgeswollen tongue. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. As far as I can look back, I always had this big piece of meat in my mouth, which is a very huge tongue. I don't think it was smaller ever. Was it smaller ever? You, you should know. <laughs> Uh, not that I'm aware of. No. Yes. But anyway, if this really is a sickness, I don't even know what histamine intolerance is. Please message me somewhere private or below and let me know what it is and if I have to take care of it. Again, this is my tongue. I think nothing wrong with it. Okay, if it is, just let me know. Julia Smith. Uh, that's, a, that's a daughter of Edwin and Jill. Jill. Yes. So, also good friends of ours in Holland. Were the kids afraid for the spider and the snake? So the spider we already had, now we will answer the snake. No. no. Juna. No. Snake? No? No. Spider? No. Yeah, the spider, yeah, yeah. but the snake, no. Was you bang for the spin? I can't even the spin, eh? I can't even the spin. I don't know. Spider and the snake? Spider. Were you afraid? No, but we had, uh, yes. for ourselves, we had two snakes at home. Yeah, so, so we had snakes as a pet. We know snakes. Two, Jago and Jango. So they are not very afraid of snakes. Jago and Jango? But, exactly. how are you doing, Jango. Julia? <laughs> Greets to your father and mother, Jango. Edwin and Jill. Jango. And then, uh, Vidya is yeah. asking us a question. Why did you choose for this life? I don't know for sure if it's yeah, Vija from Stan and Shirley. Yeah. I yeah. don't know much Vija, yeah. there's only one. Ah, there's only one, yeah. I think. Maybe it's someone else. Okay. But Shirley says it's him. Okay, okay. hi Vija. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hi Vija, because we think life should be an adventure and not some kind of a rat race where you are just working and making money to spend on very beautiful luxury stuff and we rather spend it on traveling and spending time with people. Sure. If we um, think about life right now, we love to travel. Maybe in a year or so, or two years, we love to live somewhere steady. But in this moment, we love to travel, so that's what we are doing right now. Traveling. <laughs> and we think, Vija, your parents want the same. And we will <laughs> soon meet in Thailand, because I hope Stan and Shirley will follow us here. Because we yeah. were building up a new friendship again the last few weeks before we left, and yeah. Yeah, we missed it. We missed the great Thai food you cook, and we missed your no. company for it. So, um, really visit us. <laughs> um, so, I think that was the answer. Yeah, yeah just to be free, freedom to spend 90% of the day and on things you like to do instead of 10% of the day what we used to do. So. I think this is better. Mm -hmm. Then a question from a few people. Uh, one of them is Honing. What percentage do we of our portfolio is in Bitcoin and what percentage is in alts and which alts? Alts are uh, different coins than Bitcoin. Oh. And are we a holder or a trader? So at this point, 80% um, we hold, although and 20% we trade on a daily basis um, and the hold part so the 80% the, the we hold are of course on the hardware wallets which is the safest way to keep um, um, your, your cryptocurrency safe uh, we use a bit, uh, bit, bit box and a ledger term so the huge one is Bitcoin and but a few small bags in Litecoin, Ethereum, NEO, Cash, Zag and Ethereum Classic Midterm so the trading part, few months trading, so midterm, and is Lumen, so XLM, Waves, 
of course, Litecoin Cash because of um, the fork last week, Bitcoin Private because of the fork last week, Power Ledger, Sia, Monero, Dogcoin, of course, and still, Pivx, Ada, Qtum, Ubic, Trust, Omni, Strat, and Library Coin. I'm reading them from the screen because there we have a lot of midterm and then short term, it changes daily, but we are trading on a daily basis so that it's just the coins where we can make some profit to live off. If you want to know more about it, you can also visit our free Telegram group. We have a free Telegram group. You can join it through our website bitcoinfamily.net you can join the group there and you can ask us all um, crypto related questions so it would be great if you join us again what are your feelings on faith and how does it manifest in your life um yeah it's easy i i've got faith and that everything is going to be okay whatever we do everything is gonna be all right don't worry you are just singing <laughs> faith and life, whatever you do Springheart, springheart.nl was a little bit promotion for the guy, I don't know who it is. Uh, Ridgedom, travel and free time is fantastic for some time, but how do you find the meaning of life? Longer term. Well, we, I had that feeling, oh, what am I going to do right now? What am I going to do every day? Um, I need something to do every day. Like, uh, I used to work every day, now yeah. I don't. So I got with that feeling mo a moment, but then I grew out of it. That's not you heard me. Uh, I grew out of it, and now it's like living day by day. Okay, today we are going to do this. Sometimes in the evening we've got an idea, and we're going to do that the day after. That's how we live in this moment. I think the main goal for us is just living life, and if you can, help other people with reaching yeah. the same uh, thing. So. I think our focus is on spending family time and just enjoying day by day in life, like Roman explained. So I think that's very important for people, just live day by day. Yeah, that is how we got in this adventure. We are, yeah. not, we are not a typical social media family, but um, the, the thing why we are doing this now is because we realized that we are able to create a platform and reach people and try to just help people in making a change. I'm not saying everybody has to change, but if you want to change, we just try to help you with this. And I think that is now our goal in life. Yeah. And But there is no huge goal in life. There is no, no. We then, want to manage this or not. Yeah. Okay, what's your profit, goal or target? So we don't have a goal and target. We think Bitcoin is there to stay and cryptocurrency will be the next step in the evolution of money. So we, we just don't think we have to change back. So there is no profit goal. That the goal is that we can spend it and where we want, and hopefully it will multiply in the next coming of years. But we don't know for sure, so no goals there. Um, if you ask me which goal is there for us in Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin can easily reach three hundred thousand um, dollar per Bitcoin. But is it my goal? No. My goal is to live a freedom, independent life um, while I travel. And so no, no special profit goal. Heiko Petri, is your oldest daughter, this beautiful example here, 12 years old, 12 years old, is she allowed to have a boyfriend? If not, at what age can, you ha can she have a boyfriend? Do you want a boyfriend? I already have a boyfriend. <laughs> you have? I have. Because had. I don't know you have one. I said so much to you. <laughs> at school, when we were back at home, she already had a boyfriend. Yeah. Right? My advice is, before you marry, just explore the world a little bit and don't get stuck with your first boyfriend. But again, like she's... I did. <laughs> like I did. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, she's sorry, I'm sorry. so that's not true. She had some boyfriends before, but yeah. again, she can have a boyfriend, but she's yeah. just twelve. And, and at the moment, she don't. No. no. You know Do you have a boyfriend? Boyfriend at the moment? No. Do you want one? Yeah. Jessa. Yeah. Do you have a boyfriend? Have you a vriendje? <laughs> Do you want a vriendje? They can make up their own yeah. minds. If you want, as he has bitcoins. No bitcoins. Out. <laughs> no. Oh wait, Jessa, 
There's a, a question, question for you. For you. Yay! It's a question from oh, Zaya. 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 Girlfriend. Yeah. She's a girlfriend from school. Oh, you ah. just want to play with Zaya. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just <laughs> Zaya, we don't know yet when we come home. No. But when we come home, we will definitely let you know. And we will visit you as soon as possible when we are back in Venlo. Yeah. <laughs> But thanks for the sweet question. So, Jolie, how do we end this video? Oh, Jen, Juna. Oh, Juna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Together. Okay. Together, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, One, two, three. How? Okay. 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 If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.